Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillah. Wassalatu wassalamu ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Wa bishrahli sadri wa yasabdi amri wa ahlul uqdata min lisani yafam qawli. So we were continuing on the story of Nuh alayhi salam. Inshallah, today's session will be the last session on Nuh alayhi salam. Alayhi salam. So Nuh alayhi salam, when he was coming off the ark, when he wanted to land his ark, what was the dua that he made to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Can we remember it? Rabbi anzilni munzilan mubarakun wa anta khairul munzilin. This is the dua that he made to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give him a safe landing. And just try and imagine the scene. He had a great ship, but we see even great ships in storms that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends. They're like a small piece of paper. They get tossed about. And he's making dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give him a blessed landing. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَقِيلَ يَا أَرْضُ بْلَعِي مَا سَمَاءُ أَقْلِعِي وَغِيضَ الْمَاءُ وَقُذِيَ الْأَمْرُ وَاسْتَوَدْ عَلَى الْجُودِيِّ وَقِيلَ بُعْدًا لِلْقَوْمِ الظَّالِمِينَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then commanded the water, uh, the, the earth to swallow up the water and the sky to withhold the rain. And Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that the believers uh, are now, the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is finished and there are no more disbelievers on the earth. Well, on the earth meaning in this particular place. It doesn't mean throughout the whole world. In this land where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala specifically <coughs> said the adhab. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to Nuh alayhi salam, قِيلَ يَا نُوحُ بِثْ بِسَلَامٍ مِنَّا وَبَرَكَاتٍ عَلَيْكَ وَعَلَىٰ أُمَمٍ مِمَّا مَعَكْ وَأُمَمٌ سَنُمَتِّعُهُمْ ثُمَّ يَمَسُّهُمْ مِنَّا عَذَابٌ أَلِيمٌ That when you disembark from the ark, when you come off the ship, Come down with peace, come down with salam. So we see here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala answering the dua of Nuh alayhi salam. When he started his journey, he said, start with Bismillah. While he was on the ark, he's now making a dua to land safely. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala lands him safely on Mount Judai. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling Nuh alayhi salam, now disembark with peace. But he warns Nuh alayhi salam that your followers with you, they will be part of you. But some people from amongst their generations will turn away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And one of the lessons that I want us to specifically focus on today is through the da'wah of Nuh alayhi salam, he reminded the people of the blessings that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had given them. Not only Nuh alayhi salam, but you see in all of the stories of the prophets, even the story tomorrow, we're going to go to the prophet Hud alayhi salam. Even he was telling them about the blessings. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends rain down from the skies. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allows the crops to grow. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes the sun shine. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives you the night as a rest and a time to recuperate so you can get up in the morning and go again. These are the, um, uh, the, the tactics of the prophets. This is the uh, ammunition given to the prophets to remind the people to be grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us how important it is to be grateful. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, شَكَرْتُمْ لَأَزِيدَنَّكُمْ وَلَإِنْ كَفَرْتُمْ إِنَّ عَذَابِي لَشَدِيدٌ That whoever is grateful, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will increase him. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will increase, increase what? His blessing, his favours. Everything, food, drink, water, sustenance, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will provide for you. However, if you dis disobey and forget Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then Allah says he has a painful punishment. A painful punishment. And in another verse of the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, whoever is grateful, this is the gratitude is for yourself. Don't think you being grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to help Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in any way. And the person who is not grateful, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is free of need. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the kareem. So here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminds us of gratitude. And we see even when we start the Qur'an, what do we start the Qur'an with? Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. All praise and thanks is to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us a full chapter in the Qur'an. The daily blessings that I've given you on a daily uh, basis. How many of the favours of your Lord are you going to deny? And we should think about this on a daily basis in our homes. 
Alhamdulillah, Allah gave me Iman. Alhamdulillah, Allah allowed me to come into the masjid. Alhamdulillah, Allah allowed me to be in the masjid in the month of Ramadan. What about other people who are outside of the masjid? Alhamdulillah, Allah gave me a job where can, I can earn a halal risk. Alhamdulillah, Allah gave me a family. Allah gave me children. And like this, we have to think about all of the blessings, the clothing that you have, the beard Allah gave you, the hair that you have, the sight that Allah gave you, the ears that you have, whatever you have in your life, thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Don't be of those who look over the fence and say, why did Allah give him a child? Why did Allah give him more money? Why has he got that car? Why has he got a house without any mortgage? No. It's up to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who he decides, what he gives to whom he wills. Inna Allah yarzuqu man yasha'u bi ghayri hisab. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives to whom he, ple he pleases without measure. So we have to be people who are grateful and also at the same time look at people who are less of than us. We normally try to look at people who are greater than us in terms of money, in terms of wealth. At the same time, we have to look at people who are less of than us. Then we'll realize, subhanAllah, look, alhamdulillah, Allah gave me this. This, this brother, he's in a wheelchair. And we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the blessings. Imagine when we use our body parts every single day. We use our fingers to eat. Has anybody had an accident and they've had to put their arm in a cast? How difficult it is to try and shower, to try and eat, to try and wash yourself with one hand. It's very difficult. This is when we truly realize the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this was one of the uh, wisdoms that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave to the prophets to remind the people of the blessings that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given them. And inshallah, we should start this also in our life. Every single day, in the morning, in the evening, be grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the blessings that He has given you. Wa akhiru da'wana, alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.